This one looks pretty much in order. There's some books on the floor, but that's about it. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You'll, uh, I'm heading out. You've been f uh, fabulously helpful. Fabulously helpful. Real already? Before you go, Espio and I wanted to... How did I even do this? Espio and I wanted to give you our presents. Or your presents. My presents? You're both too sweet. Thank you. Hmm. Victor, it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Honey, Lisa. Oh, the detective pair needs help from the birthday girl. Ah, uh, she knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. <laughs> this tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you, and quick. But how are you going to leave? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? The birthday girl has a master key. Right, right, the birthday girl gets the master key. Of course, it's a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye! Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now, what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm a... Make sure things go well. <laughs> things aren't going great. Wait, things aren't going great. Not sure if you've forgotten, but there was a murder. Well, I mean, besides that. Besides murder? Ah, uh, my social skills, non-existent. <laughs> I'm Vector, the butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. And I'm Espio, the poet. Ah, poetry! A resonant message from poet to reader meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic of prose. A prose, whatever. Whatever that word is. Stop throwing me words I don't know or haven't seen before. I'm not an eloquent speaker, friend. Can I hear some? Sir, um, teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La 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 la. Dee 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 dee. <laughs> what was that? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm uh, satisfied now. Uh, thanks. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. <laughs> Brad and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh, sure. It's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. When we were all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through the list library car, where Amy told me and Espio to stay. I promptly picked a book off, uh, book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Sonic, uh, Jesus, Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep. Where was Rouge? What happened to her? We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup at the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. And then she went to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, No way! at the brochure stand over there. But she left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. Wonder what she found. She's obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car, then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why was why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the li- uh, Shadow locked- Oh, well, ah, Jesus. I wish I had time to practice this vector voice. Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us- Showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he just wanted to... I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car, again locking the door behind him. Then returned to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. Then Vector came back 
Well, when, when Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy asked, uh, arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm, with all these locked doors, it seems Vic, uh, Vector and Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Thank you both for your co uh, cooperation. We're just gonna peek around, uh, peek around, and we'll return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. And if you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I got you covered too. Thanks, guys. Their alibi seems solid enough, but we should still search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves that they're, uh, what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if Espio was actually in the library car reading. A tall task, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely! Alright, so... We have Knuckles' t uh, story. We have uh, Vector being on the arcade machine. So we know that. It's the brochures. Oh, brochures! These are travel destination ideas here. Or there are travel destination ideas here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh! Brad, look at this! There's a couple of maps here. This seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take a look. Well, let's take it. Library map added. Should we take this brochure about a cave too? Looks like there's uh, stalag uh, stalactites. No, leave it. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. Hang in there. <laughs> a chow hangs precariously from a tree branch. A large text below reads, hang in there. Wow, I really needed to see this. Huh? This little chow's hanging there, refusing to use his wings to fly to safety, because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. It's beautiful. If this chow can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. There's no way there was that much thought put into this poster. <laughs> right? <laughs> There's another arm hand. Those are suspicious. It's a globe. The globe of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much. The islands are fun and all, but I'd love to visit some countries. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people and shops. The food can't be beat either. Sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor has been talking about uh, Spagonia, if you've ever been there. I have, actually. If, you've ever, uh, if you're ever vis uh, visiting, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor, Pic uh, Professor Pickle. <laughs> Professor Pickle. He'll tell you everything about the area and makes one scrumptious sandwich. I'll keep that in mind, thanks. This group knows everyone has been everywhere, haven't they? Probably. Trash can! Something always hidden in the trash can, let's check. It's sad, but there's nothing here. Ah, oh, I really thought there'd be something there. Man, are you sad there was nothing in the trash bin? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> no, I I'm alright. I'm sure, um, I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next trash bin we find. You really think so? Um, yeah, uh, we just gotta stay optimistic. Yeah. Okay, these trash bins hide a secret. I'm sure of it. Brad, you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. Was that supposed to be a compliment? Tails, you making fun of me? You making fun of me and my trash can obsession? I have a theory here. It's a conspiracy. There's always a secret button or something, a false bottom in the trash can. There's a tape recorder under the bottom. Did you not see that episode of Ed, Ed, Nettie? Double D made one. An exploding jawbreaker? A jetpack? Come on, man. So many books on the ground. I wish we had time to pick them all up. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. <laughs> a lot of these were knocked out by the train speeding up. But Rouge pulled a lot of these out too, searching for something. That what, res uh, what reckless behavior. I feel sorry for the poor books. The spines are creasing. They're opening too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. What else we not of oh, this? It's picking up a book. Oh, poor thing. That arm is really struggling cleaning up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone to do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. Alright, uh... I don't see any other items we can select. 
Oh, wait, we can go over here. This is the last thing. Wow, I wish I could stop and look at all these books. But Sonic needs me. No time to rest. All right, let's move on then. Well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging through all the book titles excitedly. He's like a kid in a candy shop, or in this case, a genius in a train library. That's odd. I know some books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order, but this one. Mirage Express Manual. Huh. It's a user guide for the, to the Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. Do you think someone found it? On the, uh, found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it is interesting. Let's make a note of this. Mirage Express Manual added to inventory. Alright, is there anything else? I don't see anything else. Let's talk to you. Did you bring me any meat to chop? I may be a butcher, but, they're con but they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. You actually tried to bring a knife on the train? I'm a man of authenticity, Tails. Without a knife, I'm just a chef in a ketchup-stained apron, not a butler. I think if you had a knife on you, we'd definitely think you were the murderer. Hmm. Or what if I hid the knife? You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. <laughs> uh, interrogation. I think we have enough evidence yet. What? Talk then. Oh, wait. Same thing you already said. Take your order. Oh, yes, please. I'm starved. Actually, I'm off duty at the moment. Murdy mystery is more important. Why would you ask? Then why would you show the menu to me? Oh, Brad, why would you tease him like that? Yeah, I thought I could trust you. You made a fool of me! Look, Brad, you made a fool of him! You made a fool- Uh, you made him into a fool. Come on, Brad, smooth this over. No, I'm the fool. Yeah! Yeah! I smooth things over, but at what cost? Okay. Oh, wait, what the- What is this? Cow Cola. Book of the Month, Gone Gal. Chaos Cola. Check out our book club. Book of the Month. Gone Gal. What was that? This. What's this bright red book? Oh, yuck. It reeks of the evil scientist Dr. Eggman. Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. What kind of recipes? Who cares? I wouldn't trust any book he's written. It's weird that this is even here. Maybe people just appreciate an omelet. You may not be wrong. Okay, there's apparently still more to find. What am I missing? I'm really not sure. Let's talk to you. Fancy a poem? Locomotive in motion. I think I lost my lotion. The window show or, uh, shows the ocean. Oh, wait. There's my lotion. <laughs> uh, thanks. I actually really like that one. Huh? Will it be space? I've made it up to space. With my beloved antique face. But a mistake in my haste. Dropped the vase from my embrace. What caused you to drop the vase? Don't read too deeply. It's just a poem. He hasn't thought through, has he? Okay. Very well. I don't... What else could there be? It seems to say there's like... There should be something else here. But I'm not sure. Hmm. Can we try? What am I missing? Is there like a book on the shelf? Here? 
talk to you. I look to the globe. The table. Here's something. Ah, let's just take a pause and sit for a second. These chairs are very comfy. So, uh, so plush. Puts me right in the mood to... Makes me want to... What did he say? I could do. Makes me want to take a nap, personally. In fact, maybe I'll rest my eyes a bit. Brad, no, don't fall asleep. It's been a murder, remember? If I had a ring for every time, a murder ruined my nap time. <laughs> That's still not all. What? Shadow supposedly walked through the library car before going into the saloon car. Ooh. When Shadow left the library car, he locked the door on his way out. There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a uh, note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. Shadow's lock been added during for it. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate, interrogate them. Okay, so that was it. 